<laughs> Unmute. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Season 3, Episode 14 of Fabrically Speaking Live. I'm your host, Claire Rowley, and today we're talking cup cozies, not bowl cozies. We're about to start getting warm, although I think some of you are experiencing snow right now. So you may not be feeling like cold beverage. Hello, Wendy and Madeline and Ellen and Tammy and Linda and another Linda and Sandra and Madeline. And there's too many of you. Tina, Lorinda, <laughs> Amy. Hi, everybody. Oh my gosh. So this time it was all my fault that I had issues. <laughs> Can't blame it on the software this time. This is me getting into the groove I was filming because this is going to be one of the videos that I put up on the YouTube channel. So uh, I'm going to play around with it a little bit today and then uh, I'm going to do an actual how-to pre-recorded edited video of this and offer the pattern for sale in creativefeet.com as I didn't just do one design I did a whole bunch of designs and uh, making it so that you can paint and not sew at all and or paint and sew and applique and sew and so on and I made a pattern that covers all cup sizes so you don't have to edit the pattern I've been working on it all day today let me get something set up that's bugging me here I'm glad that I'm here too today and know that I have no I have not finished the bunny uh, um, placemat yet but that's because last Saturday I, I had the VIP live and I, I don't know how long I went, but it was longer than I should have gone. So then I was too tired to work on the pattern and work got in the way again. So I should have the pattern for the bunny placemat done. And I never know which way to go. The towel that you see here, the little bunny towel. All right, there's a bunny towel. I'll just bring it up on the table here. So even though I did this on the VIP, I think I'm gonna also teach this as another pre-recorded video. And it'll be one of the patterns inside the pattern for the placemat. So you're getting a whole bunch of things in that same pattern. Meanwhile, there's a sunflower. Of course there's a sunflower. I want a sunflower. Don't you want a sun? Doesn't everybody want a sunflower? See, this This is a a glass that I got from for cutting food. And it has these little pads on it. It has a rough side on one side, which I don't really like. I wish it was smooth on both sides. But if you have the glass from Cutter Pillar... You can take a razor blade and scrape off all the lines and not have any lines if you're going to start doing a lot of inking. Or I should say fabric painting and or inking directly over your light tablet. Come on, Claire. Here we go. So you could ink right on the glass, but I'm not going to do that today. And you can see here, I even created one for the bunny. So if you want to have an Easter theme and you have a lot of time, maybe you don't have enough time to do all these things yourself, but you could put a little one on with their fabric and have them paint their own bunny and make their own, I keep wanting to say mug rug, <laughs> make their own little cup cup no it's one of those cute names and cute name things 
tend to run around in my head. Your dad grew huge. I had a, a friend who moved to Washington State and they sent me pictures and their whole family was in front of one flower. I was astounded. I had no idea they got that big. Okay, so I should probably, I'm going to save the bunny for a pre-recorded video so that I do a really good job on it. But we're going to paint that instead of, or should I paint it? You guys get to choose. Even though I've, I'm messing with the show, it's still your show. So how's, how about this? Even though I would really like to have a sunflower one for myself right away. I, I would do a bunny right now if you want. Or I can do this one. I'm also going to provide it plain. So if you want to just do it plain and ordinary, you can. But what's really neat about the pattern is I figured out how to make it go all the way around the cup. And so there's no seam on the back side. And with the satin edge foot, there's also no turning right sides out. So you don't have it, you're going to be able to satin stitch around the outside of, of this with our satin edge foot. Which one should I do, you guys? The bunny or the flower? Here's the thing. I'm going to ink this. So I've never inked on a colored fabric. Should I try that with you guys today? I think so. I think I'll do the sunflower on this. See, you want me to paint the bunny, Amy, or you want me to paint the flower? Mug cozy. <laughs> it, this one is a cup cozy, not to be confused with a mug cozy. And also not to be confused with the bowl cozy. The bunny. The bunny. Okay, the bunny wins. Oh, there's a flower. Bun Flower's too boring. <laughs> Which one's faster? Tina, why? You want to keep me here longer? I can get really carried away with my painting, can't I? So, the bunny is... Where's the bunny? He's white, so... I really haven't thought it through on how I'm going to do it. These are hard to pick up. But see, isn't that cute? And then I was like, well, if we're going to make an applique, let's just have the applique. And this could be done with applique. Two different techniques in one. So this is going to be quite a, a fun project to film for you guys. The sewing one will be later. Getting too many cozies. <laughs> Well, you know, sometimes your your hands get cold and we you know what's really neat about this one is there there are some of the paints that we offer that I say can be a little sticky on the needle. It doesn't matter cuz we're not going to stitch through the painting. We're just going to stitch around the outside edge of this so you can pull out the metallics and have a lot of fun with the with the inks. Hi, Mary. First time watching me paint. It puts me in a warm and fuzzy feeling. All right. I managed to remember. Oh, by the way, our paint brushes are on our site. <laughs> We've had them forever and uh, they were not on our site for you to buy. So if you don't have our brushes that are perfect for fabric inking and painting on fabric, now you can grab it at our site. Another really neat thing about using paint is paint is a little bit sticky. So if you paint the inside of your cup cozy with some of the metallic paint, and it'd be a great place to practice. So you could practice making hearts or practice making swirls because no one's going to see the inside of your cozy. So you can practice on the inside and have a lot of fun with that and then be detailed for your front. I'm always a little nervous having water in with my with all my electronic stuff. Hello, everybody. I'll tell you what, changing the show up is really messing with my mind, but I cannot stop thinking of ideas. I cannot. I'm so excited. And we and for those of you who were asking us to get our stick and tear 
our stabilizers on Amazon. That's another thing that we've been working on. So we've started to introduce the stabilizers on there for you guys so you can benefit from the, from the prime shipping. All right. So is it the bunny? Did we choose the bunny or the flower? Let me count. I made the font really big on the chat. I can read it from here. How exciting. So. Here's the thing. I'm going to still, I'm going to paint the others. I'm just not going to do it all today. Which one's faster? Why did you want to know which one's faster? Are you in a hurry today, Tina? Bunny, 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 bunny. See, the bunny's kind of boring because he's white and, it, and it's white fabric. You know what? I'm not going to paint the bunny because I, I need to like try it out, test out best practice for that. And I don't want to do that, that kind of stuff live anymore. So I'm going to do the sunflower. I could do the purple one if you guys want. You guys are really fast today. You call them koozies? <laughs> All right, you guys are entertaining, but I can't keep reading the chat. It's time to have to get serious here. I will do it on a non, not white fabric because I haven't done that yet. And show you how I'm going to make yellow become yellow on this tealish green. Do I want to do that teal green? Should I let you guys pick? I'll let you at least pick my background fabric because I don't mind which one is chosen. So with the yellow background, turn off, there we go. Which one should I do? The greenish teal or the blue blue? Okay, we're doing fine. Fine, Amy, so funny. <laughs> Come on. This one or that one, top or bottom? Top or bottom? Have you tried to get white, Amy? I tried some other patterns and they kept falling off the cup. So. All right, we all agree. Look at that. You agree with me. I like it when we all agree. <laughs> okay, so the, the idea is with this is to not have to do this in pieces. First thing first is to trace, get in there. The pattern I'm going to make available so you can print it out on 11 by 17 or eight and a half by 11. Because some people have bigger printers like I do. And then you don't have to piece patterns together. So when you choose which one, you'll be sure to be mindful of that. And then I'm going to consider that I want to have the exact same shape for the back and the front, even. So you want to cut or trace two or have the fabric. We haven't done it yet, you guys. I haven't done it. This is one of those times when you get to see me learn. But I figure as long as I can imagine it's possible, it's possible. Don't I have a 
was already ironed. What's better? This may be a time when I, when I, I don't want to even say it. When I cut first and ink after, nah, it's too hard to hold the fabric. My dog is barking outside. He's really going at it. Okay, so I'm going to cut this to make it more reasonable in size. Okay, so I lied. I'm going to tear it. <laughs> it's all about getting this done quick for you guys. I've got so many of those squares now. Tape. I'm looking for tape. Good time to ask questions. Walt Disney thought what? I'm going to do myself a favor and write an F for front. <laughs> and since it's the letter B, and I'm going to make sure that I, I'm just going to make sure that this is the top of the back. Because we still want to keep right sides together. If I, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna. I, I am gonna sew this. We are gonna fuse this as well. We're gonna fuse this with the Timtex or the fusible batting. I want to keep these two together. But I'm inking on the front, so you see why this is a little bit confusing for me. So I want wrong sides together. Did anyone yell that? You want wrong sides together. I haven't fused and I'm and you want to do it bigger so that you can place your fusible batting on here before you go to cut it out. This is why we film and do something first. Oh yes. Now I'm hearing a song that they had in If you wish upon a dream. <laughs> Are any of you hearing it in your head now? Are you guys singing it? I remember looking so forward to Sunday night as a child. So as I was saying before, I could just ink right on the glass, which I, I don't normally do. Would you guys like me to try that this time? I just have a feeling it might get messy and I'm wearing purple for my purple people, for all you purple fans. I got to trace first. Man, this is this shouldn't be this difficult. I might have to trace twice. That's the because we got to get the bottom. I don't. I'm not going to ink the backside with uh, with care. But I wanted to finish this today. We'll see. I think I'm just going to ink right on top of the fabric. This, this is probably the perfect project for that. Besides, if I never do it, I'll never be able to say I did it. 
you have the fusible fleece. That's it when you wish upon a star. Okay, so I do want to, I still want to tape this, but if I had made it longer, I could clip it to the, to the glass. That would have been better. As long as I tape it outside of the inking area. Because I'm going to cut along there. See how I'm thinking out loud. You have to deal with me learning as I go. Because I crashed my whole system. <laughs> Ugh. And I know some of you are probably wondering what I filmed already on the bunny. On the... Uh, on the placemat. <laughs> so it's getting there. Trying to get it to be f firm. Oh, I can't stick to the bottom of this. This is why their glass is better. I just don't know where I put it. I have no idea where I put their glass. I got really mad at it because I kept kicking myself with it or kicking it with my toe. Why am I doing this? Move this down. I don't have long enough arms for that. Looking for my paper scissors. All right, sorry for the noise if it's noisy, you guys. bought another table to put stuff on beside me from someone who had a garage sale but the legs are all wobbly so I have to fix it first and then I'm like I should probably film how I fix it <laughs> if every if I do everything I do is filmed it's like it t everything takes longer here we go simplify the area Somebody needs to bring up another song because now I have that stuck in my head. Just make it a good song, okay? <laughs> I took my painter's tape out of here, brought it into another area. Shouldn't do that to myself. I prefer to do this on white because I can see better. Okay. So I thought outlining is definitely easier with these and help it so you can see better. This is with the light ta tablet on. I can't, I can't see with it off and you can't see with it on. So this is kind of a, a little bit of a weird thing to film. So I could use these to do the tracing, be easier to control for sure. And it's the end that shows you the color that it is. So that looks like black. Did I take my glasses out of here? What I want to know is where do the glasses go when you, when you can't find them? I had some in every room. So it's easier to do a circle in little movements rather than trying to go all the way around with one stroke. So keep that in mind. I'll try to center this. Frequently I film things and then it's all off in the corner and it doesn't, you're not supposed to do that. You think after 
since the cam video camera was invented, I've been filming that I would be better at this by now. Okay. Ugh, stay on. I tape my cord on here to the board and the tape broke. This one tends to come unplugged easier. Let me see. Ah, so I'm gonna take it so that it's plugged in the opposite direction. So I don't bump it. This is just my mindless behavior. And I, I really just gotta move this water over. Tape it under the board so I can't undo it. So if you have the Ultra and you're a little bit dippity like me sometimes, <laughs> I have my board sticking out from the side of my table. I don't, I don't like that at all. But I'm teaching, hey, I can see it better on the screen than I can on front of me. Gotta move the mic as close as I can. Do any of you can call yourself Dippy? <laughs> I need 10 hands. If I could put my head directly above and look down, that would be ideal. But then you wouldn't be able to see. You'd see my head. <laughs> and one of these is the first pedal. Oh, this is, I did this one different than I normally do. I'm going to use bigger tape. I'm using a tape I would never recommend you do. Just so I don't have to leave the room and go wander around trying to find my artist tape. But if you're like me and <laughs> then this is this is shipping tape, but I'm folding under one edge so I can peel it up afterward. And I don't want it to be where I'm gonna where I'm gonna ink. I just whistled with my teeth. Where'd I put the paper? Oh. I can see it better with the tape all the way down. I feel like you guys can as well. Ah, gotta fold it. No, don't stick yet. They are derwent. I'll hold up the. I'll put the lid on there for you. I'm not gonna do them. I'm not gonna use it for the whole project, but for outlining, absolutely, a lot easier if you're, especially if you're new to art. Wow, everything holds really, really well on glass. Okay. Oh, that's right. You see the same way I do. When I'm at shows, everyone is always on the other side of the table, so I would always hold things upside down and like that. <laughs> but you guys are seeing through the camera as if you're me so this is the 24 set which could be adequate for a lot of you and before you go to use it this is not a how to ink class so i gotta be careful how much i teach but before you go to use it you can do things like take the pencils 
and you, they each have a number. So this one is, is that really right? Yeah. So this is 20, 2100. And then you can draw a little box like this and draw really light. And then now that you've done it light, now come back down and a little bit heavier. Or what we're trying to do is see all the color variations we can get from one pencil. And if we push really hard, then we get a stronger black. So even though it's only one pencil, and even though it is a pencil, it's really paint, <laughs> which is really neat. Did we get two? Okay, so this is charcoal gray, and ink black is 2200. And since I did draw this in a cartoony way with the outline, then I do, it's, it's fine to outline with this. I feel like I took that tape too far. Now, if you're nervous about doing that, you could start out with the iron away pens. And I thought I would play around, show you something that I got. What I do with them. Friction came out with markers. So I'm like, I have to try those. So I'm going to try them with you. Sorry for the noise. There's probably some really neat way of opening this. Maybe not. All right, so this is the friction pen, but instead of it being ballpoint, it's a marker. Oh yeah. I'll put a link in the description for these for Amazon for you guys. That's awesome. And what's really neat about that is that black is really not there. It's just, it's, it's all in your imagination. This black is there, but this really dark black is not f there until I say it is. And I'll have to paint over it to make it. Oh, there's a leaf back here. I'm like, why does that look so big? Which is why I recommend you have a pattern To look at whenever you do anything like this so that you can remember this is when I should have music all ready all queued up for you guys this is how I'm gonna start to do things because I got royalty free music that I can play when I feel like I need to be quiet to think. So this is the, they don't have a number on it. Okay, so it's black, but it's not really there. It's iron erasable. It's not a lot of detail. I do want to put my outline, my border. And this is important because this is what makes it fit the cup so well.
If only my arms were bigger or longer. They're big enough. They're just not long enough. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, whoopsie, whoopsie. There's my first whoopsie of the day. Uh, the first one you guys got to hear anyway. Okay, so I need to not forget that I did that. This is when I wish that you guys had microphones so you could go, you didn't, you have to paint that still. Okay, so that would be my first choice for tracing the design, the outer perimeter of everything even over using these because I can control my line with a brush. But we played around with these in the VIP group recently. And there were some really neat things that I could do with it. But my preference really over the pencils is the inks or are the inks. You get get to the point quicker or you get to the impact is quicker all right I gotta put this <laughs> too much too many toys in one sewing area hello Linda from Portland how many Linda's are in here today we got a couple doubles in here or is it that we have now three Lindas? So there's different types of inks that we offer at Creative Feet under the supplies link. The VIP group Linda is inside of create.clairowley.com. I don't know if I, I think I typed that in the other. You guys are getting used to live feeds where people have crashes and stuff. Turn on my keyboard and I will type. I'll give you guys the address to the school and inside the school there's groups and you go into the groups, there's the VIP group and they get extra patterns and videos and live events with me. So if you think about how much it costs you to buy one pattern, one pattern can run $10. So there's four shows in a month and one live feed and they get patterns from the, from the show that we do each week from Fabrically Speaking Live, they get the pattern. Goes into the VIP group. So it's part of the $10. So $10 you get four. Yes, so this is the school. And inside of there, you go and you join the group. You go and to click on the groups link. I can open up the school really quick for you guys to see. So inside of, this is actually a little social, social media platform created by a company called Mighty Networks and inside of Mighty Networks are a bunch of teachers like myself. And my school is called Create with Claire Rowley, as you see on, on top there. And this is the link. This slows down the feed. So if I start getting choppy, it's because this draws a lot of uh, bandwidth What do you mean you can't join from the school? Yeah, you can. So you go over here and you go to creator groups. And everything that I've already done is in there. So if you've joined now, you didn't miss out. And you see the heart, the VIP, and it's a premium thing. So I'm already in. But people wouldn't have been able to just join if... Let's see if I'm incognito. You have to join, you have to create your, your profile first. And up here you'll know if you have a profile. 
you should put your picture in there. So I know you guys don't all like sharing your pictures, but it really is easier for me if I get to know your faces as well. So once you create an account, then you'll be able to join the VIP group. And inside of the VIP group, you should be able to. So if you can't, is it that you can't see it? If you're, if you have the app, On the left hand side, there's like three lines and then it opens up this sidebar here. And you can always search too. When it, wherever you see the magnifying glass, then you could type in VIP right there and it will take you to things that, re it'll take you there and then it, you won't be able to enter unless you pay for it because it is a pay, pay for a membership. But I, it's just moving way too slow. So if you have any questions like that, I can help you on the on the phone. Don't hesitate to call and I can assist you in getting set up. Okay, so boy, that slows things down. Okay, back to the fun stuff. And so far in the VIP, I think we've done three different inking things. The, the place you pay is, is a service called Stripe, and it is a safe service. So you, I guess you have to join Stripe. I, only, I, I don't know what it's like to be you guys when you do it. I'm the creator, so it's difficult for me to, to know. But sometimes I actually help people on their computer. I... I'm like tech support and I go into your computer and, and I can assist you and set you up so that you have an easier time navigating through all the different things that we offer. Now I have to choose this, what center, what center color I want. This is the fun stuff. This is going to be like the schnazziest <laughs> cup. <laughs> I do enjoy having things that stand out from everybody else's. Do you guys feel that way too? Do you like sparkly things? And so we've got different yellows. You could just just do the cartoony version. Just do one solid yellow, one solid brown, and then use a blue fabric. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to get into art and learn how to paint, it is a lot of fun. This is a great project for it. This is a pearlescent white that I could use on the bunny. But we're not doing the bunny right now. But I'm thinking I may need to paint white in order to get yellow. And I, I have a blow dryer in here. I have no idea where it is. I may have to run and grab my other one. And then I'm like, oh, what if I blow a circuit? I had a cord. Uh, I've done this before. And I had, a, I had a cord set up that was plugged away from all the cameras. All right, so I'll try yellow without white first and see how it goes. And there's lots of different stuff. We're at, we'll be adding these. These are alcohol inks. We tested these out recently. Oh, that was, those are a trip. But we got to get them on our site. So we've got the paintbrush set comes like this. And not all paintbrushes are created equal. And some are really expensive. These are, I think it's under 30 and you get four. And they're a really high quality brush. They mimic animal hair but they're they're not animal hair so you don't have to worry about that and even when I'm not on with you even though I'm a fine artist and I have probably a thousand brushes because I've been painting my entire life I I generally will be fine with just the brushes we offer on the inking thought I had them all in here here we go I don't want to open another paint brush set. My, one of my favorite brushes of all time is the fan brush. Okay, there's the round. Ugh, who put that in there upside down? It can't be me. I'm the only one in here, though. I, there's no one I can blame. It's terrible. There's the other one. Ooh, I must have been in a hurry and just threw them all in upside down. That's terrible. Don't do that. 
So I just told, I really, I ruined this flat. Look at what I did to that. It's supposed to have a chiseled end. And I wet that and there's, n there's no bringing that back. So don't ever do that. Okay, how exciting. Here we go. So we're going to try. This is one that we have. This is our, this is the one that is actually called ink. But you know, I'm going to, I think I'm just going to not use that this time. I'm going to try. I think these two would make a pretty sunflower. And maybe this on the tips. It's one of those moments when I just thought I was doing it right. Oh, that's right. I need a palette. <laughs> For those of you who got the Octi Hoops, this is the Octi Hoop <laughs> package. I started using it as a palette for the inking. I'm just going to flip it over. That's me just being lazy, not going in the other room to get it. Or really, I just don't want you to have to wait. But I use a plate. I'll use a plate and a Ziploc bag and put it over the plate. And it's a great surface because you can wash it off. Unless you like buying things. Make sure you have paper towels handy. And then you're not wearing your fine clothing. I should have worn my painting clothes today. Shoulda, shoulda, shoulda. That's why Amy's always saying, don't do what Claire says. <laughs> I mean, don't do what Claire... Yeah, that's what... How do you say that? Don't do what I say. Do what I do. The other way around. No, Linda, do not apologize for, for me doing that. At all. It's not your fault. I don't have the most expensive computer on the market. Ah. Oh, that's going in. <laughs> oh, well. All right, so I'm going to start with the light color. Ugh. Act like I don't like paint. It's just, I just did my nails and I was going to film something else after. So, oh well. Sometimes I don't even use the palette. So see how it is not bright yellow. It's not pure yellow. It's got that, the color of the blue coming through. So that says to me that I need to wait and do the, and do, what is this? He's saying do and use the white first. There are more than one whites available. This is the one that we want. It says super opaque white, and that's the one we want to use. I do live in Prescott, well, the Prescott area. Why do you, Linda? Should shake it. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> shake your booty. <laughs> Don't cheat. Make sure you always shake the paint. And it's really thick. So we want to paint all the petals white first. Try to stay within that black line. And then I'm going to try something while it's wet. Doesn't matter if this is thick because we're not quilting through this. This is with no no water at all which keeps it within the, the border and uh, so now I want to see if I have to wait this is why you have a palette Claire I just got too much stuff up here 
And if I put too much down on one part of my table, my whole table will fall. <laughs> I need to fix it. It's one of those things I don't think about until I'm filming. So now I have the yellow with the white and that's working out nice. So you don't even have to wait for it to dry. Ooh. So if you don't have the white opaque or super opaque white, which is, we have, it, when you go into creativefeats.com, oh, I should show you, huh? I gotta clean this off. I'm getting it all over me. I'm painting like I'm two years old and just started. Prescott is a very popular place to retire. So I'm going to show you on my website because it can be confusing. Come on, Claire. What are you doing? Sharing the desktop. Transition. Okay. So inside of Create, I mean... <laughs> Creative feet. <laughs> I I have too many too many names. Okay. Then you go under products. And the reason we're called creative feet, for those of you who are new, is that I invented these sewing machine feet. And the octi hoops, which are fun. Today we're we're painting. So if you go to supplies and notions. Now the different paint. I paint my sewing machine. I have a video on how to paint your sewing machine should you want to learn how. So when you're looking on a cell phone, it, it looks different. You'll, you'll have one column and you'll just slide down. Now, when you see all these different types of paints here, you can use all of them on fabric. But some are easier to sew through than others. And this is the jacquard. So you find the jacquard name on there. Jacquard textile. So this right here is where you'll find that super opaque. And my son is amazing at creating websites. <laughs> I mean, it took a long time to do this. This is the only site on the internet that has the pure, the true colors. And see how he has this splotch there? That's what it looks like dry. So you you can really match, bring things up on your screen and see how big you can make it. And this, I did use some, all, all of the paints, some of every, well, almost every single one of the types on that, which will be, which is the most insane video that is 12 hours of filming. It's not done being edited yet. What am I doing? Oh yeah, go back. So with the combination of all of these, with four different groupings, there's, there's no color you can't achieve, and all of them are mixable. This was the first one that I started using, and it is ink. So this will be the softest, and you don't, you don't need to do anything. That just stays like that. This is a video on my YouTube channel right here, how to do that, and that was a mask that I did. This is the babbling brook. One of the classes in the school, teaching you all the different aspects of that. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of there. So you're, if you're new to me, and uh, then you don't know all this yet, but the regulars are our members in there and everyone's really getting to know one another. It's, it's quite fun to watch. If one of you is not somewhere where everyone else is, everyone is like worried about you. In fact, Amy, when we last Saturday, everyone was going, where's Amy? And I said, she's not a member in the VIP. So I didn't know you were having trouble doing joining. Sorry about that. Okay, back to that. Try not to let your brushes get wet. I, I clean, I wet them before I did that, before I stopped. And whenever I do use a brush, I wet them and then I wipe them off, dragging it like that so that 
so that you keep the brush point nice and pointy so you don't end up with that sad looking brush. So now you can also use water, but use it very, use it very sparingly. Hi, Tinkerbell. <laughs> Tinkerbell just came in and tapped me with her cute little nose. Here we go. Not used to that glass being on there. Okay. Another thing I do, which is not necessarily a great habit, but I sometimes use the lids so that I can film mostly. If, try not to do that and try not to get the paint up inside of the metal. So if you really want something to look realistic, you want more than one shade and you, and you want to think about where the light's coming from. This is getting too intense here. I can't help it. It's just who I am. All right. So here's the thing. I need to use white on all those petals. And if I start dipping in there and dipping in there, I'm going to make the white all dirty. So this is the one that needs to go on a palette. purpose of the palette is to mix is to mix and combine colors and not get it back in the bottle and yours may not be as thick as that because this has been in I've had these for a while and sometimes I leave the lids off for longer than I should just like I leave my glue bottle off Speaking of the glue, that was something else I wanted to do. So rather than to keep going right now, I want to do something really quick. This is one, there's more than one reason I, I clean my brush this way. Is that way I don't have to change out water as often. And it keeps your water from getting all dirty. And then I don't put my brushes in the water like that. I, I set them down. That is a good habit to get into. I'm going to take a sip of my, my lunch really quick. Hi, Tinkerbell. Hi, baby. Oh, there's the glasses. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. One of the things that happen when you add water to fabric is it bleeds out. And that's great because we can create smooth effects. It's really nice in certain things that I have inked. But in this, I kind of want, although I can, I'm going to cut this afterward, but I am going to put that black line in ink. So I'm going to go around and restrict the movement of the flower. And I'm not going to do it all the way around because... This is just alive and, but this is, uh, someone already knows the name of this. What is this called, you guys? You can use this to, to create a batik look as well. This is our liquid base glue. There's another use for it. And if you have the thread dispenser, you can glue in your, your uh, wooden posts with it. It holds real nice. And if you ever break one, you can get it wet and it wets back up again. And so you can take that wood post out and put a new one in. We give you an extra post, by the way, just in case you guys break them. So this prevents the ink from bleeding past that. This will dry, and this is a water-based, it's just basically wash away stabilizer in a bottle. So there is a water in here, and if you blow dried it before you started inking, it, it takes longer to get it to come off I can't remember what I was saying. Darn it. <laughs> this is why edited videos are good. On an edited video, you don't hear me say, I can yes, masking. 
Now I masked into the leaf, which will make it be blue along there if I don't. So I'm going to leave part of it undone so you can see. Because this is teaching. I shouldn't have done it in the leaf. I didn't hear. So the petal is free. Ah, <sighs> that's what it sounds like when I stop talking, <laughs> which doesn't happen very often. So I designed this in my sleep. I was like, what should I do when I went to sleep? What should I do tomorrow? I have no idea what to do tomorrow. And I'm not doing three video series anymore on the live. Instead, I'm doing recorded videos. All right, so now I'll just have some fun here. Get going on it. I really wanted to sew one, but that, that requires me actually getting one done. So now I'm going to wet the fabric because I I think that's called something else, by the way. So yeah, it's a masking fluid, but it isn't. It's just our liquid-based glue. You can get a masking fluid. If you already have one, that's for fabric. That's a water-based one. They have wax, too, that people put on there for watercolor paper. So this this is a similar technique to watercolor. Give you a look at how how to get the look you want. Because it can be really disappointing. Just like if people learn how to oil paint and they can't get things to look right and then they give up. So sad. Because it's just learning the technique and knowing how to get the paint to do what you want. Isn't this going to be the coolest bowl? Not a bowl cozy. Cup cozy ever? I was thinking that I would ask you guys because this pattern is going to have a whole bunch of different designs. So far I did a cross and the word faith. And I did love and a heart. And then the sunflower and that other flower. And then I was thinking, and the bunny of course. And then I was thinking about maybe doing a pelican for the beach for the summer. What do you want? What would you like me to add for the bowl cozies? Because I am in the development of this pattern right now. So I know not all of you want a sunflower. <laughs> I'm not masking the circle because it's going to be darker. So definitely dry fabric dry paint gives you the most intense but we can always wait for that to dry and go over it with another coat oops i meant to i meant to dip my brush in the water instead i put more paint on it it's okay if you go into the brown a little bit because we're going to go over it with a darker color and i'm going to add yellow into the brown Oh, sorry about that. So if I had white fabric, this would be quicker. But then I would have to work really hard at that. In other words, I would have to paint that to make it a color, which is not, there's nothing wrong with that. It's fun to, it's fun to do this once you get, once you get a brush in your hand. Oh, that paint is really wet or really dry. I mean, thick. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Well, where is it? Ah, it's another thing I always have is a bottle of water. I've got one with vinegar in it and one without. 
The vinegar one is for ironing out creases. This is my painting one, and I know that because it's got paint all over it. And the reason I'm doing that is to keep that from drying as it's sitting out, just a fine mist on it. Better than getting the fabric wet to uh, thin this out. Sorry. And I'm ruining my white. It's no longer white, so that's why you put it on a palette. Oh, yeah, it's definitely much better. Couldn't get it to get on the fabric. And this is all just so the yellow will show. Should I have music playing? I think I do have a... I have some music on this computer, if you guys want me to. Thumbs up if you want music, or give me a musical note, or some, or write la la la. <laughs> a kitty! Oh, that's a good idea. I could do a cat and a dog. I was going to do a butterfly. And I was going to do a peace sign and write peace, peace man. <laughs> For my hippie chick friend. Do any of you consider yourself a hippie-ish kind of person? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, what? So where will you be coming from, Linda, if you move to Prescott? And when you do get here, it's Prescott, not Prescott. Prescott like biscuit. A butterfly, maybe more than one butterfly. I was going to do a bee, too. And I was going to have it so you can write be kind or just have the bee. This is definitely not as thick as it usually is in the in the jar. There we go. And the separation here between it's going to be black. I'm going to take my time with it and use a black ink or black paint with this with this smaller round brush that we have. It's probably not going to be sewing today. 3:30. We'll see. So if you have a bowl, not a bowl cozy, a cup cozy <laughs> already, and it won't stay up, you can turn it inside out and paint some of the metallic paint on it, and then it will stay up. Good time to practice brush moves that you don't think you're good at. Notice my hand is resting. My elbow is down. I'm not hand in the air going like that. And make sure you don't get your... I got my hand in the liquid-based. There we go. It's part of the reason that I'm good is that my... Right now I have my pinky down simply because I have a mess and I can't put my elbow down. I'm trying to keep my face near the microphone because I have had people not be able to hear me when I'm over on this area of the set. I am all cockeyed here, by the way. My body is twisted. It is not good for you to do that. You should always have yourself centered with your work. Elbows down. I can't even use my, my elbow pad or my elbow pillow.
my dad's birthday's coming up and I'm like, what could I make him? Got to do something for a man. Help me think of something that we can do for men. So maybe, maybe one of these for, for a man as well. He loves his bowl cozy. Could probably make him a couple more of those. He said he never, he doesn't eat without it anymore. So this one will never be bright enough if I don't put white under there. Oh boy, I forgot to put the, we're filming sign out. Okay, so, you know, when people tell me, when people say so, my first thought is no, because <laughs> I'm always sewing, and so it's like my little joke. Okay, now the light color. And I'm not going all the way down to give it the look of a sunflower. There's all kinds of different sunflowers. So if you think you've done something wrong, just go, no, uh, I did that kind of sunflower. <laughs> I didn't do that sunflower. I did the one, you know, from there. And there's cherry colored. There's purple. There's black. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how many sunflowers there are. I could just keep doing sunflower everything and never do the same flower. My dad doesn't bowl. He's 92. He was a pilot. I don't think he drinks out of cups with cold anything. <laughs> so, like, what can I make him? Goes to church. See, it's getting faster. That's where I get it from my dad, right? He doesn't, he doesn't drink coffee. <laughs> you didn't know there's purple and black sunflowers? Oh my goodness. I'll have to share those with you guys. So now I'm going to come in with the darker color, and I really should have mixed all of these. I usually mix with a palette knife. And this little skinny one. Because even if you shake these, you're not getting to the bottom. Don't leave your palette knife dirty either. Don't do what I do, do what I say. <laughs> I honestly had no idea what I was going to paint when I chose the clothes that I'm wearing today. <clears throat> Excuse me, me being lazy. It's not lazy, it's just, I'm awkward. At some point, you do have to do a little, do a little shake. <laughs> Best dad ever on what? What does my dad do? He goes to church and he eats. <laughs> I've been painting since I was since I was old enough to to have a paintbrush since my mom allowed me. And I cannot remember the name of this part of the brush. <laughs> even though I was a professional artist. 
I keep thinking it's a, a frog, but that's the bow on a cello. So my brain can't store that data, apparently. I'm going to put a little bit in here. Oopsie. Oh, no, I made a mess. How awful. If you spill, deal with it right away. I know a little bit, a little bit of water on here. Should use the palette. My situation is just too cluttered. So see how I'm coming up from the middle and, and then picking up the brush as I come out so that it thin the line gets thinner and I'm not trying to make every petal exactly the same because it would all depend on how the light is capturing it what's really neat about these there's so many neat things about these inks <laughs> but one of my favorite things is that you could you could make an entire quilt and have create a center piece and then actually ink every piece of fabric to match so that you have an absolutely positively one-of-a-kind quilt that no one can duplicate or a garment this is how you get dimension by adding more and more colors to it. And so I'm towards the center here is solid paint. And then I'm adding, then I go like this and I add a little water and then I pull it out. And that makes that color change into several different colors on the way out. And you'll end up with less paint on your brush. So more solid toward the center. It would have been quicker on white fabric. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Tina. Now if I could just store that in my mind. It reminds me of a feral cat. <laughs> so what I'm probably going to do is finish the flower and then say goodbye. And then I'm going to be uploading this as a video, one of the freebies on my channel. So if you can't afford the VIP group right now, know that, well, this, this flower, this, this painting, this particular one is already going to be up on our site. But the actual completion and the sewing and everything else will be done in that video that's recorded. Yeah, I like it. It's more of a it's more of a sky blue. Probably does have a little turquoise tint to it because I tend to to be a turquoise kind of person. So one of the things that I think is really neat on sunflowers is they have kind of a rusty tip on the tips of them. But I don't know if it's going to show up with black going around. And I can't forget, I need to outline this. Shake a, shake a, shake a, shake a. And these are going to pop because they're metallic. Put the lid on. Hi, Tinkerbell. What time is it? No, no way she should be in here. Bugging me already. Unless she can't get on her chair. These are little muirs, and you can buy them individually. But you can also buy the entire color group in smaller set. So keep that in mind. And, the, and these are all by Jacquard Company. So this is what I'm going to be using now is a little muir. What I used before was the textile opaque colors and and jacquard again 
And then this one is the Neo Pig by Jacquard. And that's that orangey appearance, which tends to have a neon-ish tint to it. It's 5.30 in Tennessee. Did I, oh, I asked what time it was. <laughs> I don't remember when I do these things. I could, to get the same metallic-y look, go over it with some of the, they have, they have some that are like translucent and all you end up with is the metallic added to the color that you've painted on. They have pearlescent. This is, this is one of the Lemures as well. One of my favorites, no surprise. So this is 581 gold yellow in the Neopake by Jacquard. And you'll be able to tell you what, I'll type them into the description after I'm all done going live. And that'll only happen if I put them somewhere right now. I know what I'll do. These are the trays you get mushrooms in from Costco. <laughs> so I'm just going to put all the colors I used in this so I can't lose track of it. They come in really handy. So in... I don't have every color in my area. But I think what I'm going to do is use the brown from this brand. And this is the Fabric Creations and this is their ganache. Yeah, I kind of feel like painting this this fabric aqua just so I can use that and maybe I will. Maybe I'll do a technique on there. Maybe, maybe. Why not? <laughs> There's nobody bugging me tonight to end early. I'm the only one in my head. I may as well just really make have a lot of fun with this. Another great palette is the lids to Tupperware containers, to products you get that they just, uh, the lids of jars, you know. That would be so cool if I had the lid to that jar in here right now. <laughs> Where'd I do the palette? Where'd it go? Oh my gosh, it's got paint on it. Look at what I did, you guys. <laughs> I need a babysitter. <laughs> this is the ganache number 25997 by Fabric Creations, and it's by Plaid. And this stuff is insanely permanent, so be careful on your clothes. I'm going to spray the center with the spray and get that to spread out. I can't wait to show you what I'm going to do next. I'm having fun. Are you guys having fun? You telling me to put that paint back in there? Uh -uh. It's got some yellow in it. But I'll try to, to not waste it so it doesn't bother you. This is going to be such a fun thing. I'm going to probably use it every time I go live because I, I always have a either my vitamin water or my... I think what I'm going to do, though, is get this safe. Close your ears. Because you're supposed to keep your pattern handy. <laughs> Okay, now I don't have to worry about getting that white paint all over me. I almost wore my sunflower shirt today, too. Because you guys were bugging me about that I haven't worn it. Only, I've only worn it, worn it once since I painted it. 
but I saw the purple shirt and went, no, I'm going to, oops, I almost put that back. Just something else to deal with. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I'm thinking, boy, when I think, I sure am quiet. Goes to show how little I think during the <laughs> show, usually. Oh, the type of paint. Thank you, Amy. Sorry, guys, I had to sneeze. You know, all those cherry blossoms and apple blossoms. I think this would be really cool on there. I'm going to try it. And this is highlight red. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. Put that away because it will have red tints. And this is highlight blue. I'm going to play around with that with one of those with you, though, but not not on the flower. That's pearlescent white. Oh, I have a yellow. Colorless extender. This is great. It makes the thick paints thinner instead of water. Sometimes when you want to spread something out and use water, it spreads out. You know, that's why we have this on there. And this is that the liquid-based glue stopping the paint from spreading. Isn't that nice? Another use for the glue. Liquid-based. I'll stick it in there so I know I used it. <laughs> Shaking it into the lid, but that only works if you if you remove the thingy that stops it from going into the lid. Back of the paintbrush. And then just dot dot See that? Doesn't that look easy, you guys? Dot, 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 the darker one first, and I'm just going around. Hand down makes it better. Dot, dot. Oh, gosh. These are the times when I go, you're not going to keep saying dot, are you, Claire? In my head, I am. Dot, 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 dot. Isn't that neat? Hand down makes it easier. It's a little, it's a little dry. And when I'm putting the brush down, I'm coming straight. I'm going straight down on it, not at an angle. On an angle, it would make it not a circle. And now I'm going in between those dots. And now we have some flower seeds. There are other tools that you can get for this. If any of you do rock painting, you may have the little round tools. Oops. Ugh. Got one really oversized sunflower seed there. This is easy peasy. I'll put that one away. I got messy lids. That is Lemire Jacquard, by Jacquard, number 564, metallic copper. Next is Burnt Orange by Lemure. I mean by Jacquard, in the Lemure color groupings, number 543. Make sure you shake it. This is how, well, this is how neat and tidy it's supposed to look. Once again, little I'm going to do dots.
these are going to take a little bit longer to dry because it's thicker. And now I'm thinking, okay, where's the sun? And this is how it kind of looks like the sun is reflecting. Because not all of them would have the same glisten from the sunlight. And what's really neat about this pattern that I'm making is this is also going to be an applique. So I'll be showing you guys how to applique one of these as well as paint them. Now I'm going to take this color into the tips of the leaves. My hand is down and resting again. I'm using just the very tip of this brush. If some comes in in a larger stroke, that's fine. So this is dry brush, dry fabric, because that is dry already. It just looks wet because of the <laughs> masking. You can do these you could definitely do this and this is like a very small amount of fabric to invest in trying something like this. So what I'm thinking of is making a quilt for my bed. I know I haven't finished the other one yet but <laughs> thinking about inking or painting a bunch of flowers on it and then appliquing those painted flowers. Making it so that you guys could do it as well if you want. Brush is getting a little too dry. I said about like I was from Canada, a boat. I'm also going to be taking it from here and bringing it up into the petal from the center. And not forget that I am going to do a black line around this whole thing. It's kind of losing its cartoony feel though, isn't it? I'm not sure what I said about that you said was pretty. That would be pretty. What are you guys making for dinner? And or breakfast or lunch? I wonder if I haven't been able to look up at the chat because I'm painting as much as I normally would. So for any of you that have said anything, if I if I didn't catch it, know that I'm not being rude. I don't have a person that reads for me. And I don't have the ability to go back through all of the chats for every one of our lives. So if there's anything that you need from me, please don't hesitate to reach out on creativefeet.com. Go to the contact form. Or you can send me messages, private messages inside of my school, Create with Claire Rowley, found at create.clairowley.com. If you like this video and you're watching, go ahead and hit that like button. If you've yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and do that today so you don't miss out on any more events that we have like this. And this is Fabrically Speaking Live, my weekly show where I go live every Thursday at 2 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. If some of you have been missing the first hour, it's probably because you didn't, you don't realize we don't change time. You had beef stew. I haven't had beef stew since I was a child. 
Not that I don't eat that kind of food, because I definitely do. I just don't tend to stew it up. <laughs> Leftover hamburger helper. This is this. You guys eat like my mom fed me when I was a child. Making me go down memory lane. Hamburger helper and beef stew were two of her staples. Oh, that petal's so much darker than the rest. And that's going to bug me. So how do I deal with it? I'm going to get unload that brush and try to soften that up. So I'm picking it up with, with water and bringing it back out. So far I've used the number two. Nope, this is the number four round. <laughs> Whose brush is this anyway? This is a set of brushes that we had this company put together for us. So you won't find it anywhere but on creativefeet.com. So I wanted to make sure that you guys could achieve the looks that I get. What do you think? You guys liking it? Ah. Uh, okay, so I'm going to put this one away. And I'm going to bring out black. No, I got green to do. I got the leaves to do. And I already said what color that was. So what green? Ooh. Ooh, that goes nicely with the fabric. Maybe a little bit too. My jacket felt wet and it's just water, thank God. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm going to use both of these. So we've got Halo Blue Gold. Oh, this is, this is my, of all of the colors in the entire line, this is my absolute favorite. Halo Blue Gold. And I put it on a lot of, I put it on my clothing on some of the outfits I've done. It has this really unusual quality about it, which I'll show you. So that's number 556 five, in the Lemure line. And this will be my first time using citrate, I think, or citrine. We'll see. Yeah, I haven't used this color yet. I'm liking this. It's really thin compared to the others. Since I haven't used it, this is going to need to clean this brush really well while I wait for it to. So it's citrine. I actually bought a shirt with this color green. It's a color I was really not that familiar with. And I love it. I'm looking forward to wearing that shirt again. Okay, where'd that palette knife go? There it is. And what's on this palette knife is some type of a permanent paint with uh, glitter. <laughs> so I have no idea what I was doing with it. Probably mixing something I should not. Isn't that pretty color? Halo blue gold. Looking for my black. Almost done with the inking part. Isn't it lovely? Don't you just, ah, uh, maybe not. Not everyone likes the greens. Creating a little artwork right there. <laughs> Ah. I generally go light to dark, but 
but I'm I know where I want the dark one so and the lid fell off so a, a leaf would normally have a little stem going through it So the next VIP live, I want to see you guys have glasses or cups with your own cozies. There's a challenge for you. And I'm probably going to go, I don't know what to tell you. I, it was third Saturday of every month, but now we did two months where it was the fourth Saturday of the month. And I've been doing um, mornings, and I feel bad because some of the members live in other countries, and they don't have the benefit of watching it. So I was thinking about doing one later. It all depends on you guys and what you feel is fair. It's like I'd like to meet some of these people that live in Australia and Germany and as naughty I didn't clean my brush now if I wanted these leaves to really pop I would put would have put white down first again What's nice about this particular line is that you get a variety of different colors and some of it is metallic-y and some of it is not. So when it says blue gold, some of the areas are gold and reflecting gold and some are blue. So this is more, more of a translucent color. So I can paint over the other color and it shows through. Same. Later is fine. Mornings are hard for you? I didn't know that. We usually do, well, I did 10, I did 11. I thought I scheduled it for 10 last Saturday, but I had scheduled it for 11. So I was way early. So we could do a um, four o'clock for the next time. And that would give Lynn a chance to be in with the live. That way you, all, you can all meet her. She's she she pops in here for the chats, but or I could do two. Stephanie, I don't I don't think you did you join? I can't remember. I know one of you was asking where something was, and there's too many of you now. All right, so now it's time for the black, unless I do something over here. This has been a very strange layout for me <laughs> with all these levels. Let me look at it and think, did I put these away? No, this one. Okay, so the colors I used are right here. I think I'm gonna do something. With, I'm not thinking I will, I am going to. I am going to use this because I love it. This one is my second favorite. Tinkerbell just, I don't know what she did. Sneeze, cough. Oh, 
What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Fan brush. Oh yeah, I say we, I say, I say, I say, I say we wet the fabric. Kind of give you an idea. And what's nice about that friction marker that I used is that water doesn't affect it. So it'll stay even if I get it wet. So I'm just doing a X, X by touching. And it is okay if I go outside because we're going to cut this. In fact, it would be beneficial to go off the edge like that. So you have ink or paint all the way to the edge. Ah, uh, Stephanie, you're the one that had the, the son get married. And somebody had a baby or had has a grandbaby. So not covering it completely. And the nice thing about this is if you drink cold beverages usually outside somewhere, and this will be reflecting the light, the sunlight shining on it. We could add crystals to this as well. Put some beads on it. I could put pearls on the edge. Have the fanciest drink cozy on the planet. I feel like putting little bees on it now. Okay. And this does this does have a velcro close closure. I haven't completed one yet, but that is how I designed it for the velcro. So I'm going to be showing you how to how I sew Velcro on. Okay, so this is the pearlescent turquoise number 571 of the Lemure by Jacquard. And now we're going to black, but first I'm going to clean my brush. I feel bad. I feel bad having that much come off my brush and not using it on something. I probably should have a piece of fabric that I wipe this off on so that that would be a piece of fabric that I could use for something. That's not a bad idea. Because it stays soft, you know, so why not put it on white cotton fabric instead? All right, where do I put this? And this is the black by Fabric Creations, Soft Fabric Ink, number 25999. They don't really have that many color numbers for this. Oh, Brenda, it's your baby, your grandbaby. You should share pictures. Uh, did you? I can't remember. This. You guys are being more active lately, so I am um, can't imagine what it's going to be like when you guys get really, really busy. I won't be able to keep track of everything. I'm switching now to the number two round for the fine details. And these are not clean. They're not clean till I, I wash them in the sink and, uh, and then let them dry laying down on top of a paper towel. Are you the one, one of you has quilting on Mount Rushmore or something like that. And I went to your YouTube channel. I think it was you. I don't know. There's too many of you. 
This is all going to be cut away. This is not uncommon for me not to open the wrapper and just to use the lid as my palette. Starting far away from me and coming back toward me because I don't want to rip. I always have to put my hand down when doing this and I don't want to get the black ink on my hand and then put it somewhere. This is the time. This is when you, this is when you might feel like holding your breath. Dry paint, I mean dry brush. Notice I do little movements that I don't go all the way down. Small short lines. I need a little more ink in there. You can share with me like in the school. Today's live, the announcement I made in the school, you can, you comment and then you share the picture there. Because I'm sure I'm not the only one who would like to see a picture of your new grandbaby. I don't think anyone has gotten upset about anybody sharing anything in the school. So if you feel like, oh, maybe I shouldn't share that, don't don't feel that way. There's way too much of that going on. People feeling insecure about different things. It's a very, very warm and loving group of people in there. What do you guys think? The outline is tying it together. This is when I should spin this thing around, but I'm on film and there's too much clutter. Sometimes I do feel I have the control to do it in one stroke like that. But it is not a sign of you not being good enough that you feel that you make you should do it in small strokes. And I'm I'm not sure how much of this black is going to be there after I rinse away the liquid based. <laughs> should have thought about that. I am staying within the masking line. This is where I accidentally masked around that petal. So it'll probably be an area where there'll be blue instead of green when it rinses away. But you know, when do I need to rinse this? Whenever it gets so dirty, whenever it gets dirty and I need to wash it till then, it's going to look like this. In the pattern, we'll include a plain one too with the proper fit for all sizes of cups. In case you just want to get to business, get down to business and make a cup cozy. God, I, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to say that fast with a bowl cozy stuck in my head. Thank you. 
I could just see these, if you guys are Etsy sellers, I could just see these selling, outselling all others because they're so unique. Don't you think? If you had your choice of a plain cup cozy or one like this, which one would you want? And now I'm thinking, okay, so when I sew this, I could go all the way around with a yarn. I could also use the satin edge foot and do a black thread going all the way around. So we'll find out in the video. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go around the center. And there's nothing wrong with doing little dots just tapping all the way around because we have seeds in the middle. This is different than what I did on using the back of the handle, it gave me those larger seeds. But since the center is a bunch of seeds, it's good to do little dots and to maybe take some of the black dots up into the, we'll just say the sun is up here and this is where the shadow would be and just kind of, what is the dog getting into? She's digging in my fabrics. What are you doing? Tinkerbell. <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> she was trying to take all my quilt blocks that I've sewn and dig them off of something and pull them down on the ground. So Tinkerbell says, hello, everybody. And that's pretty much where I'm going to leave off for today. Although I think, I think I'm going to do make the stem or this part go up here. Kind of has a stained glass look to it, doesn't it? Well, I have just had the best time. I am so relaxed now. We're both relaxed. And I'm going to finish these, this filming this weekend because I don't have anything on my agenda except for that. And I'm really looking forward to finishing them both. The pattern, the first pattern that we'll release is the bunny, the Easter placemat we'll finish first. And... You should have enough time to still make that before Easter. Did you see Chase? Where'd he go? She knocked over a bunch of stuff also. Okay, one more look at the top of this and So from that to that. There's stuff everywhere. I'm like, this reminds me of my show table when I did shows and I'd have stuff everywhere. Tinkerbell and I are very happy on Chase. He left the room. Are, oops, are, are very happy that you joined us today for Fabrically Speaking Live. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I sure hope you'll do so today. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button after the live chat is over. If you're watching this 
and it is not March 31st of 2022. You're watching it on the Rewind. Last week, uh, somebody was saying they couldn't see anybody else's comments, and that's because you had popped in after the live was over, not knowing that the show was only an hour long last week. And that is the goal, is to try to get it down to an hour, half hour to an hour. Well, today I failed. <laughs> today I failed miserably at two and a half hours. Well, maybe not two and a half hours because I had technical issues. So I will uh, be posting pictures of this completed stuff and teasing you with images to hopefully get you to pick up the pattern and make one of these for yourself. And uh, appreciate you all so, so, so very much. Love you. Bye. See you next Thursday.